Hey guys, welcome back to Angie Plans. We're just gonna do it. Um, last week's video was gonna be a flip through and like an overview of a full setup video for this planner. Um, and then I turned it into an ASMR flip through. So if that's what you're into, there's the link. Um, otherwise, you get my husky, sultry voice. I just, I caught the cold that my kids were passing around and uh, I am still getting over it. So I'm just going to do my best and this is not usually what I sound like, but if you want to find out, then subscribe. Um, this here is my, it has hair in it, sorry, I think that's mine. This is my A6 DIY happy planner or, or like disc planner. Um, so I did it myself, everything, I just, I made it myself. Um, and I guess I'll jump right in. The rings, or the discs, I mean, I'm going to probably slip up and call them rings. Um, this is the mini size because I had the large size that, like, the standard Happy Planner comes in. It's like one and a quarter inches or something. It just felt huge. It's too big. Maybe at some point I'll expand to need that space. But for now, I wanted the small rings, but I couldn't find them by themselves. And I think I ended up being cheaper anyway to just get a, um, a mini notes, a Happy Planner mini notes take all of the pages off and put those rings here. So now I have those just like I'm not using them sitting in a, a room in a in a box next to me here. They're uh, the mini notes is bigger. It's like seven rings long. So there's like an extra ring. Um, this is a six, which is four inches wide by uh, five and three quarter inches. I mean, technically, I guess it's measured in millimeters, but that's what the measurements I'm using is in inches. Um, and all of the inserts in here are from my shop, GantuPlans.com. Um, and yeah, I offer inserts in A6, among other sizes. Um, so let's just jump in the cover. I probably want to redo the cover and make it a little bigger. It's just barely, it, like it doesn't really cover the tabs perfectly. The idea was to have the lamination be a little bit thicker on this part or like wider on this part so that you can see the tabs from the outside. But I'm not finding that's something that I super like need. So um, if, when I remake this cover again, this is already the second cover. The first one I did the margins too wide and like it was a whole a full quarter inch of lamination around the edges, which was just too much. Um, and I was like, oh, I got to get back to the craft store to get more paper. But then I was like, you know what? Digital scrapbook paper. And I printed this with my inkjet photo printer. I lied and I told it I was using photo paper so that it would... Um, let me print high quality and it worked pretty good. Um, it looks weird, but it's like a watercolor effect or something. Anyway, uh, what I ended up doing just to make it a little bit more sturdy is I put contact paper on the back of it and then I ran it through the laminator. I'm not sure that it's that much sturdier than if I had just left it straight printer paper. Um, but I just, I wanted to have a little bit of extra something, but I didn't want to mess up like the look of it. I felt like too many layers on the front would get cloudy. So there's just contact paper on the back. Anyway, that's just the cover and we're already three minutes in. Um, so the very first, <laughs> the very first thing in here, this level 10 life spread, this is insert five from the shop. Um, I got this idea way back forever ago. I've already forgotten her name. When I first started getting into bullet journaling, um, I'll probably, I'll try to link a video. Um, she was like really big when I first started bullet journaling in 2016. Um, and then she kind of stopped making videos. So I don't know she's probably around somewhere, but, um, she got it from somewhere else, but she's the one who introduced it to me. But the idea is you kind of rank how you feel like you're doing in different areas of your life. And then you can set goals to improve those areas. So I didn't pick 10. I just picked a few. Um, but I thought it'd be a good time. It's kind of a nice way to just sort of take inventory of how you feel like you're doing and help you to, uh, see which areas you'd like to set goals in. And I also pulled out this guy again, new year, new chance to do monthly resolutions instead of a new year's resolution. I always find I get more success this way if I make a separate resolution for each month. So here we are. I had like a goal, um, you know, it got partially done. Um, and then I have a goal for February. It's like a project instead of a, um, you know, like a nebulous type of a goal. But I, I kind of like that. I think it, it's more attainable that way. 
Um, and then this is the 52 weeks future log, which I use for designating a focus project for the week. I haven't picked one for this week. Um, uh, the week I'm filming in, I mean, you know, that is this week. Uh, anyway, I haven't picked one for this week. I'm kind of, I don't know, like I'm going to put cleaning schedule because that's the thing I'm excited about. And I'll show you when I get there. I just made it like yesterday, day before. Uh, this here was supposed to be for putting like the last time done data from last year, but I never did, so I should probably just move it. This is insert 70, the mini notes, they just come in one size. Um, so this is insert 63, and it's the um, like monthly tasks or recurring tasks. This is for things that happen on a regular basis or just things I want to remember the last time I did them. Uh, a lot of home maintenance type stuff. Recurring tasks are for things that are not on that kind of a every other month type of a schedule. Um, so it's all it's the same kind of stuff, but mostly this is car maintenance, as you see. First tab here is months. So this is basically my future log section. Um, I just went ahead and printed out a month per page. Thank you. I, I was supposed to look up your name before filming this. Um, but I was like, I don't know, I can't tell which month is which. And someone's like, why don't you use a pencil? And um, that is how deep I am in the planner influencing space. That, that did not even occur to me. So thank you. So dumb. Much better. So this is just like they're labeled in pencil until I get to the actual like decoration part. Because I have to have something to do for a monthly plan with me. And honestly, when I decorate something... Um, I can jump right in and start using it, even if I hate it. But if I hate it and I planned it like two months in the future, I'm going to hate it even more by the time I get there. So um, sometimes I love uh, color schemes so much that I never want to leave it, but that usually doesn't happen. I usually get super tired of it. So it's better to just do the decoration like right, right before. Um, so this is in Search 74, the um, church calendar. This is a freebie in my shop if you happen to be Catholic also. And you just would like to know like when Easter is, for example, this year and for the next six years. Um, Ash Wednesday's next week. Have you picked your resolution or whatever yet, your goal? I have actually. I'm not going to tell you yet. Um, birthdays and anniversaries is insert 55. So it's everybody in my life. I need to keep adding people to this because at one point I was like, all right, this is the set list, and then that was it. Like, I never added people to it unless they were born. Um, but, yeah, I, there are people whose birthdays I do care about who I didn't add, so I need to get around to adding more people as it come up. This is my daughter's school calendar, um, so I'm not going to show it to you, but I just took the entire letter size sheet and I folded it up, punched it, um, and I can just, you know, obviously pop it up because it's the discs. Um and open that up and, and it's just in here and it's folded nicely. The far future log is insert 58. So it's got one thing on here that doesn't need to happen until 2025, for example. Um, I decided to just have for the side tabs one labeled plans. By the way, these these are acetate from Joann's um, and the labels on them are like an off-brand label paper in my, I got a new brother printer um, that allows me to like customize it a little bit more. There's like an app. Um, and so I had it top aligned. So it'll pop up the top here because it's like a half. Anyway, so it's just from a label printer. I wish there was a way to add fonts to my label maker, to a brother label maker. If you know if there's a way to add fonts to it, it currently has like three different fonts. This one is the fanciest looking if it's italicized. Anyway. That's what's going on. Um, so this here, this sticky note is from Peanuts Planner Co. Love her sticky notes. <laughs> I just sort of drew a wheat grid. She does make one that has a wheat grid, but I only needed one. Um, so I just did it myself. And this is supposed to be like a sort of weekly schedule for myself. Like, for example, my husband's paid, like his paychecks come through on Thursday. So that's the day that I want to reconcile our budget. So I just put that on there. So I'm going to be adding things to this, like... I, the laundry schedule has been a bit more easygoing since I became a stay-at-home mom and I don't have to worry about like the days I'm working from home or anything. 
Um, so this is weeks and days in one sort of section. And then I have the top tabs here, one for the week and one for the day. Um, and so everything is kind of in here, but the top tabs show me exactly where to go. So I can show you, um, I put in this, you know, this is a freebie. This is, uh, I forget, go to freebies on my shop and you'll find it. These are the monthly dashboards. Um, just for fun. And then I've got some weeklies here from January. When I first set this up mid-January, I was using this insert 66 weekly on two pages. Um, but then I decided that I needed to sort of combine days and weeks together because flipping back and forth, I wasn't used to the discs yet anyway. So I went with insert 28, which has weeks and days together. So this is like the week info and then these are the dailies, all part of it, the same. It's a faux Dutch door, which is fun. Oh, if you've never used that, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And then this is last week. And then um, I'm filming this uh, Monday. See, that's where the week thing is. And I have, I'm filming Monday night and I haven't set up the weekly because I needed to film it. Didn't get around to it on Super Bowl Sunday. So I do have um, a, do you like my like wearable blanket? It's just that kind of an evening. I've no, not this one. Oh yeah, this is like a, this is the checklist one from Hades Planner Co. that I was using to take some notes about what's happening the cup, the this week and next week. Um, and to sort of, to streamline my planning and also so I don't forget things because I haven't planned for this week yet. And then I was using a daily today because I didn't want to touch this before I could film it. And that's just like the ridiculous things that I do that I wouldn't do if it, it's all your fault is what I'm saying. Uh, so I have more of these printed... And then I have, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to end up needing this, um, but where will I put it? Then, uh, these are dailies. This is like the, when I first moved in, I hadn't printed any fancy dailies yet. So I was doing some rapid logging, um, a running tat, you know, to-do list. And then this is the product, you no, know, this is the cleaning daily on number 48, um, because I am, you know. A stay at home mom now. That's a lot of my life is cleaning. Uh, there's a lot of cleaning to do and more time to do it in. This is a favorite of mine. This is insert 45, um, which is got this little faux weather doodle, which I didn't do. Or it's not faux, do, DIY weather doodle. So it's like you can trace the part of the weather doodle that applies to your current day. I didn't, but it's there. And I usually do want to use this, but I didn't. I ended up being fancy. Um, because there was like some stuff coming up, I think. Yeah, this was Tuesday. But I knew there were things that needed to get done over the weekend. I, things that were special that were happening over the weekend. So I was planning ahead. Um, there was a... Oh, yeah, these were some things I was... We had a, a parent-teacher conference. So those were some notes before that. So I was using that for a few days. I don't know which day I used this, but... <laughs> Mm. And this is the last day that I used a daily <coughs> before I switched, sorry, to the, the faux Dutch doors. And um, I thought I would have fun with like the color coding, which is fun. Um, and I had just a lot of sort of wanted to work on the house. So um, I needed to sort of, I felt like I needed to work in every single room at least a little bit. So I downloaded for myself a multi stopwatch app which allowed me to keep track of things. And so I was like doing it in 15 minute chunks and then I was running out of squares, but that was the idea. So I did more than 15 minutes, you know, uh, of basically every room. Kids room, I only got a few minutes done. Um, so this insert shows you, this is again the cleaning daily. Um, there's some things that I like to get done every day. So I added those here. I had a focus area. Oh yeah, it was a sick day for my kids that's why we were home so I was just trying to do some tidying and unpacking um, I finally got their room unpacked so I have more of those this is the productivity daily which I honestly use as a weekly more or like a project page um, so I think I'm going to be making another version of this it's like a project page and another version is a weekly if to make that more explicit and helpful and then I have a couple of these uh, Peanuts Planner Co. dailies in here again for days such as today where I needed to use one. The next section labeled home is all about like the cleaning stuff I was talking about. 
So first I have in here an Eisenhower matrix, insert three from the shop, throwback. Um, and I had sort of made a running to-do list and then I decided I wanted to sort of categorize it to give myself some goals. So I'm trying to work through this before I get to like, I'm going to do a brain dump, I think, when I'm done with this list. I'm getting close. Uh, and then this is the thing that I'm kind of excited about that I said was like my focus for the week. Um, I've been trying to find, you know, a cleaning schedule that I can follow. Somebody else's cleaning schedule. I was using the organized mum method, um, which I had tried before. I've never been able to stick with it for long. And I think the problem with it is that it feels like if I miss a day, then it's a problem. Um, I was looking into Fly Lady because I had liked the idea of what I had heard about there being like, um, focus areas for the week instead of for a day. But then I realized, you know what? Like, why am I trying to find somebody else's system that works for me when I could just make the system that works for me? Because really what I want is, I think, I think just something very simple with daily tasks and then like a weekly focus task or not even a weekly. So like if I'm feeling super motivated, I can get an entire room perfect. The idea is to sort of focus on one room at a time, keep everything else baseline. So I have a couple of baseline tasks um, that I just get credit for doing. And then um, the idea is to try to keep the bathrooms and the kitchen tidy and like the floors and like the toys everywhere that they belong, you know, roughly tidy ish but then like the actual cleaning I'm just going to focus on one room at a time so I started with the kids room because I finished unpacking it on Sunday um I highlighted the weekends and the days we have off so that um I don't have to worry about those days you know like I don't have to I don't have to clean those days right and then like I'm trying to get everything I can possibly think of to do in the kids room done and then I'll move on to another room so I'm going to do the master next so like I was scrubbing the kids beds today like that kind of thing um there were some things that needed to be organized and you know decluttered and all of that so I'm trying to uh, here's my list <laughs> this is the idea so I'm going to go through this whole list of um things I need to do in the kids room and I was adding to it as I was thinking of more things the beds were kind of dirty so I was you know wiping those down with a wet wipe I'm going to change their sheets tomorrow and vacuum and then I just want to label these new toy bins that I put up um, there's some opaque like cloth bins that I had use what you have um, but because of that they can't see what's in there so they're never going to play with those toys because they can't read they are labeled but they can't read so I need to make pictographic labels um, anyway so once all that's done then I'll move on to the next room get everything there done and then I think I'm going to do the kitchen next and then I'm going to kind of have a rotation I'm going to keep these lists so that I have a list of the things that will need to get done when it's that room's turn again. That's the idea. Oh, these are the toys that need labels. I went through and I took notes so that I can do that while they're sleeping. Anyway, before that, I was, like I said, doing the organized mum method, which has like a different room for every day of the week. Um, and I wanted to kind of keep track of how I was doing sort of to keep myself motivated, but also to, um, have like a record of the last time the stuff was done. Uh, so I just decided until I come up with a better way to keep track of it, I'll just use a weekly. So this was insert 65. Oh, by the way, this a habit tracker fold out is not labeled. I don't remember, but if you go to my shop and under categories, look for monthly, it should be there. Um, Oh, no, this is not, Eisenhower Matrix is not three. The grid, this checklist is insert three. But this is like a single digit number, I think. It was a, an original release. There were like 25 that were released uh, when I first opened my shop. Anyway, this one is insert 65. Um, and so, like I said, I was just keeping track of like the daily tasks and then the, the focus days. And as you see, after... Let's see, one week I did good, second week I did good, third week I kind of, fourth week I ended up giving up. I was like, you know what, this is not great. So I have a top tab here for current project, which, I don't know, I should probably put maybe here. Right now. Uh, or here. Yeah. So this can move around. And I am liking that about the discs. The thing that's frustrating me is that you can't, you kind of have to be gentle as you turn them or else they'll get kind of folded up and weird. Um, next tab, I have an entire tab now for meal planning. 
Um, I have another insert in, in the brain. Like I am ready to make it, but I'm working on something else first. Um, I'm working on a shop update first, but then I'm going to be making like a meal catalog insert. Excited about that. But this is the meal planning insert. Use it religiously. Love it. Posted recently, um, I think maybe this exact spread on my Instagram. Or maybe it's coming up next week. Anyway, you can take a look at it again. But the idea is I use the circles to indicate shelf stability. As you can see right now, I only have shelf stable stuff right now. Um, so working through that. Um, nugs is, is chicken, obviously. Um, I am really loving the concept of Instant Pot freezer meals. So I have a pea soup Instant Pot recipe that I was like, you know what? Once I cook down these vegetables that are like sauteed at the beginning, I'll just throw everything in the freezer. Um, and then it'll keep for whenever I need it. And I can just throw, I even got bouillon cubes. I can just add water and we're good. We've got dinner. Um, so that's the kind of thing I want to keep building up more of those. And maybe every time I make something like that, I can buy double the ingredients and stuff it in the freezer. Um, I have a, I think I would say I have marginally more freezer space than pantry space in this house. Um, but I also do love our, uh, our pantry staple meals. I, uh, we make red curry, this like Indian red curry recipe and a white chicken chili crock pot recipe that I do in the instant pot, um, all the time. I, maybe I'll make a blog post about that chili just cause I do modify it. Um, this I made since last week's video so I can talk about it because I'm using my voice, but also because it exists. So I, um, I will post a link to the video where I got the idea for this and it's slightly different. Uh, not really that much different. Um, so here's how this works is it's a, it's a folder basically to keep some stuff. And I got a, an essential oil from Amazon and it came with this little sticker, which I thought was cute. You can ignore the logo and it's just got flowers. And then these ones, um, I also got from, from Amazon, actually a little kit of them. I used them a while ago. If you ask me, I can post a link. I probably won't remember to do it without that. This is again, printable scrapbook paper. Um, and this is just washi tape. So here's how this works. You open it this way and then it opens like this. So that's my oldest. She's a doll. Um, and this is actually not taped at all, this one. And I'm not really keeping stuff in here yet. I need to. I bought stamps like the day I made this and then I don't remember where I put them. Um, I wanted it to be like it really kind of needed to be 12 inches long to fold three ways into a four inch space. But it actually 11 and a half worked out. Um, so I, I added on an extra half inch of space with just like layers of washi tape to the edge here. Um, and then it's taped down on this side and on this side with like some double sticky tape and then some more washi tape. Um, and then otherwise it's just kind of there. And the idea is just to have a space to put, you know, cards and stuff. This is my husband's business card behind there. Um, I think I have, it's supposed to be, oh yeah, it is, there it is. A tiny piece of a nail file because when I have a rough edge on a fingernail it drives me insane so I just have nail files stashed everywhere um, anyway so that's that's the folder I have I also want to make some like folders out of laminator paper but the last time I tried it got stuck all the way inside and I had to disassemble my laminator uh, so I haven't tried again that kind of scared me um, but yeah so as you see even with the half inch less it ended up uh, working out okay for the width here. It's just a little bit narrower. Uh, then I just have, let's see, insert ideas. Oh yeah, this is things I want to work on. So like that meal list, I was telling you that catalog. Uh, this is a secret. And article topics, this is for some freelance writing I do. Um, these are some notes in a class we took for like a marriage enrichment class. And then I've never used this actually since I released it, but this is insert six. Really? This is insert six. Like I said, throwback. Clothes sizes, because I was realizing I kind of needed to know. Um, there's only three kids so far, but here they are. Um, she's kind of between sizes four and five. She's pretty much still comfy in size two, but her, her shoes are up to size six and her shoes went up to size 10. We realized that like a whole bunch of her shoes didn't fit her anymore. 
I do need to cl declutter this one's shoes because she keeps complaining about a lot of them and she has far too many to begin with. Um, and he just moved up a diaper size. So this is just a great, I, I think this would be great for grandparents who want to get gifts for their kid, their grandkids to remember, you know, especially if they have a lot of grandkids to like remember who's what size so they can, and also like she's a big fan of unicorns. She really likes wearing skirts, whatever kind of preferences, stuff like that. Uh, library books. We finally checked out a library book. We went to the library at the new place, um, like aren't close to where we live now, um, a few times for story time, but uh, she only wanted to check out a book at this most recent visit. And of course, it's about baseball and she knows nothing about baseball. She's two. Whatever. It was the first book she saw. She picked up. She wanted to take it home and I don't care. That's cool. Gift ideas insert is number 38. Oh, library books is insert 16. Gift ideas is number 38. And I haven't filled it out. Uh, there are some gift ideas that are in my last planner um, that I could move over. I don't know. This last section is notes, which is just a nice way to say blank paper. Uh, so I've got these Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes like I've been telling you about. Um, a list of things to add to my planner. I should put gift ideas on here. As I say that before I forget. Um, oh, and then this was uh, notes about like the tabs. Um, and this is my two-year-old. I need to print out more of these mini notes because they're handy to have for just little things. Um, but I can add this one in there that I pulled out from earlier. And I just have a couple of grid pages. Yeah, and it's time to print out some new blank paper to have in here for whenever I need to make a new uh, collection of any type. And then the back cover is supposed to be as wide as the tabs, but it's not quite. Um, just because of the way that the, the discs turn or curve, I think. Um, so like I said, I probably am going to redo the cover. But um, these are all free scrapbook papers. And yeah, like I said, free free digital scrapbook paper and that worked out well. Maybe I'll print on the inside next time, which I didn't do this time. Too excited to cut. Um, in any case, there you go. I managed it. Only one major coughing fit, which I hope I remembered to edit out. Um, and there we go. I hope you enjoyed that setup video. It's been a long time coming. Apologies for that. And I know I've been hinting and hyping about this setup like long before I even made it. So I hope you were excited and that it fulfilled all of your wildest expectations. Um, if you liked that, there's more where that came from. I post videos every Thursday. So like, subscribe, and ring the bell and uh, have a productive day. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Thank you.